Hello everybody and welcome to C++ Made Easy tutorial number 11 and now I'm going to be teaching you about the switch statement and what the switch statement is it is uh it's a statement just um similar to the if statement uh but like the if statement it's kind of different but it basically compares the equal value so like if an if statement you would compare like if variable um let's zoom in here sorry so something we like in an if statement if we want to compare something we put like a variable one is equal to variable two now there's an easier way to do this so if you want to find out if something is equal to something or whatever instead of using if statements we use case and uh we will put switch no let's make a variable so number and let's tell the user to input a number so please input a number and what we do what we're going to do is get the user input for the number now the syntax for a switch statement is switch then in the brackets we put the variable name so the variable name is number and we put two braces now in between the braces we put case and what case is is the the value of the number so let me make this uh make this clear so i put case one then i put a colon and right here i would put c out whatever the the number is one and then end l and then we use break now the thing about break is you can use a break in a for loop in a any any type of loop or any if statement but we're going to use it in a switch statement what it basically does is if the number is equal to one then it prints out to the um it prints out the, to the screen then it's like i don't need to check the rest of the switch statement because the number is equal to one right so i don't need to check if it's equal to two or equal to three or equal to a hundred because it's already equal to one so it does not have to waste time going through it so let me put a case two and let me put C out the number is two and and L and if you didn't notice it's it's basically saying it's like an if statement so it's basically for case one it's basically saying if number is equal to one that's what it's basically saying then for case two basically saying if number is equal to two and so on so now we got one and two and this is you know how we had the else statement well we put default and what default means is like an else so if none of those are true then you put this the number is not one or two and then we would put end l and then so let's run this program oh sorry so let's do control r5 <sighs> computer is going slow okay now look input a number by input one the number is one right so let's run this again and put a number two the number is two the number is not one or two now why did it do that because I didn't put break because it went to it went to case two and it's like oh and the default message is CL number is not one or two default doesn't really mean else it's just a default message right but once you put break break exits the whole switch statement so it doesn't 
check to see if this one is true. It just exits the whole thing. And the same with loops. So if you have a for loop and you do something, you say break, it will exit the for loop completely. And same if you have a while loop or an if statement or anything. So if I enter 2 again, it says the number is 2. And if I run this program, if I input another number, 4, the number is not 1 or 2. So the case can be efficient in that, like, say you have um, a game and you say, Ent um, do you want to run it again? Pre um, enter 1 for yes and enter 2 for no. And you can use a case statement instead of if statement. And there's other places to use case statements or switch statements, but those are some little examples. So I hope this helped you and look forward to, I hope you look forward to our next tutorial and bye.